One of my friends asked me if an audiologist was a radio DJ working in a radio station. Often they mistaken us as an audio technician. You want to hi-fi? An audiologist assess and manage patients with hearing and balance disorders. We work closely with ENT doctors to diagnose and provide holistic treatments for patients. I've been here for nearly 20 years. I specialised in paediatrics, so I see children from newborn all the way to young adulthood. I test their hearings and uh, most of these hearing impaired children, they do require hearing aids and cochlear implants. Since early 2000s, we had a newborn hearing screening program followed by cochlear implant program. That's one of the earliest in Singapore. Our patients range from the late teens to the oldest patient being 104 years old. I actually specialise in hearing rehabilitation and counselling for adult and senior patients. We roll out more community-based hearing tests and uh, hearing management. For example, our mobile hearing bus was conceptualised in 2015 and until today it's been mainstream. It's been great providing hearing care services not only just within the tertiary hospitals but also at a community level. An audiologist is trained across all areas of audiology and can focus and specialise their work in a particular area of audiology. This can range from hearing aids or implantable devices for the more severe hearing loss to tinnitus counselling and balance disorders. The work of an audiologist involves the use of equipment and technology which has evolved over the recent years. Audiologists have the opportunity to attend regular in-house courses and manufacturer product trainings to stay relevant with clinical practices and patient care. We work together with other disciplines such as the doctor side and other allied health profession in order to improve the rehabilitation process of the patient and ultimately improve the patient quality of life. We do have conferences, we do run journal clubs to make sure that the audiologists are up to date on evidence-based practice to provide the best patient care. It is a small and relatively new profession in Singapore. Graduates come from diverse backgrounds such as life sciences, engineering, communication studies, finance and even economics. Aspiring audiologists can be trained locally under the NUS Master of Science Audiology program which has been offered since 2013. A group of us actually are involved in uh, the NUS Audiology program in teaching and research. The most rewarding aspect of my job is being able to see from patients accepting their hearing loss to trying hearing aids and to complete the rehabilitation process whereby they are able to hear better, hence better communication and reduce conflict with their family members and loved ones. The most rewarding part of my job is to be able to see my young patients and walk the journey with them from not being able to talk all the way to them calling me Auntie Jenny. That's the reason why I chose to be a paediatric audiologist.